The Wall Street Journal is reporting uh, within the past couple of moments here. Sergey Brin is back. Brin reportedly resumed work on Google's AI model Gemini some five years after he left his position as Alphabet's president. Sergey Brin, a co-founder of Google, has apparently been visiting the company's offices frequently since moving back to Mountain View. Sergey Brin, a co-founder of Google, has apparently been visiting the company's offices frequently since moving back to Mountain View. The Wall Street Journal reports that Brin, who retired from his senior position at the business in 2019, has been attending work three to four days a week for several months to collaborate with academics who are creating Google's AI model Gemini. In December 2019, Brin and co-founder Larry Page both resigned from their leadership positions at Alphabet and handed management of the business to Sundar Pichai, who is now the CEO. Both Page and Brin continue to hold board positions for the business. The journal claims that Brin has been heavily active in Gemini and has organized weekly meetings with staff members to discuss fresh AI research. According to reports, Brin has also participated in personnel choices, such as the recruitment of coveted researchers. The Charleston East building on the Alphabet property, where Pichai also has an office, has seen the most renovation. Brin's efforts have apparently been encouraged by Pichai. Because of the rapidly changing AI landscape and Brin's well-known love for it, Google is also in danger of losing ground to its rivals. The New York Times claimed in December that Pichai had issued a code red in response to the debut of ChatGPT, prompting Brin and Page to be asked for assistance with the AI program. In order to compete with the OpenAI offering, the journal at the time said that Google planned to introduce more than 20 new products in 2023 that would showcase the chatbot features of its search engine. Now, in addition to ChatGPT, Google must also worry about a number of other recently launched AI technologies, like Meta's Llama 2, created in collaboration with Microsoft. Google's co-founder Sergey Brin was absent from the company's Mountain View, California offices for a considerable period of time. In recent years, he has lost ground to senior Google executives, notably CEO Sundar Pichai. But now that circumstances have changed, Brin is back and supporting Google's AI initiatives. What has Sergey Brin's position been at Google during the past few years since he has stepped aside from daily work? As a board member, he shared a seat with Larry Page, the other Google co-founder, and together they continued to hold the majority of the company's voting rights. However, after leaving their senior positions in 2019, they had little to no day-to-day -day involvement with the business. According to a few sources, Sergey spends at least three to four days per week in the office. It also appears that he spends a lot of time with researchers studying artificial intelligence who are working on the Gemini project, which is unique because Google has previously created these enormous AI systems. However, Gemini is expected to be bigger and better than any of them, so Sergey is seated among the researchers, asking them questions, leading assessments of fresh AI research, and most importantly, helping to hire some of the field's most esteemed experts. The idea is to basically develop this really general-purpose AI model that is quite powerful and can be used for all kinds of activities, and Google is certainly framing it as critically important. Our understanding is that Google intends to release this by the end of the year. Creating text in the manner of GPT or Google's Bard, or even creating graphics and maybe video. Google has mentioned that it is multimodal, which simply means it's multimedia. Therefore, you might imagine this type of AI system powering all of Google's businesses, including the main search engine as well as YouTube, Gmail, and other services. When did Brin's participation pick back up? At the conclusion of the previous year, when Brin became interested, he gradually resumed his involvement with the business. He and his other co-founder, Larry, took part in some discussions with executives to discuss AI products. However, Sergey in particular has been seen significantly more regularly during the previous three months. What do we know about his increased activity? He appears to be thrilled about this period in artificial intelligence, so that's sort of the million-dollar question. There is evidence of interest because his last letter to shareholders from 2018 was entirely on AI and how it was the largest advancement in computation in his lifetime. 
do we know how Google, his employer, and the others he works with feel about his presence? According to what we hear, he is not very knowledgeable about all the technical specifics of the most cutting-edge AI. He isn't actually entering these initiatives and, you know, having major influence on technical issues or the code that is used in them. However, from what we can tell, his co-workers are delighted to see him. Being around a man who is sort of a famous computer scientist and co-founder of one of the most significant internet firms ever is fascinating. He also serves as something of a mascot for the AI researchers working on this enormous project. He is there to encourage them, inquire about their progress and assist them in overcoming obstacles. According to what we understand, Sundar Pichai, the CEO, also warmly welcomes him. When someone like Sergey returns and doesn't really have an official function, but is still around, owns all these shares in the company and exudes this ominous presence, there will inevitably be doubts. Therefore, it will be intriguing to see how that develops over time. Did Brandon tell us everything about his return? No, we didn't. Brin's spokesperson did not reply to our request for comment, but Google did. He does not have a new formal title, according to the company. His only current roles are co-founder and board member. Does Larry Page play a part? What are the rumors about Larry Page, the other co-founder, that are circulating around the AI office? Has he recently assumed a more active role? Late last year, Larry attended some of the same AI sessions, but other than that, no one has really seen Larry around the offices, the way Sergey has. Larry has generally been a bit more reclusive than Sergey, even in this sort of tech social scene, because of a rare voice cord paralysis that has somewhat impacted his public profile throughout the years. Although ChatGPT has surely caught everyone's attention, Google's most recent announcements at the Google I.O. event were genuinely amazing. The tech giant stunned guests with its most recent strides in AI with the eagerly anticipated introduction of Google Pixel products. The Google-owned research facility DeepMind makes the audacious claim that its future Gemini AI large language model would not only compete with but maybe outperform OpenAI's work. Gemini AI's development is expected to have cost hundreds of millions of dollars, according to Demis Hassabis, CEO of DeepMind. This large investment demonstrates Google's unwavering dedication and the vast resources put toward the AI system. This steadfast support gives Google confidence because they think Gemini AI will outperform the next GPT-4 model of ChatGPT. In 2016, DeepMind gained notoriety after its artificial intelligence software, AlphaGo, triumphed against a world-class Go player. Hassabis announced that his team is using the game-changing methods from AlphaGo to develop Gemini AI. The large-scale language model Gemini AI, which is now under development, is comparable to ChatGPT's GPT-4. However, Hassabis and his team are going a step further by incorporating AlphaGo's strategic thinking and problem-solving skills into Gemini AI. Fundamentally, Gemini AI includes a subsequent generation AI architecture that is prepared to take on the role of Google's existing Palm 2 AI model. A number of Google's AI services, including the well-liked Bard chatbot and the commonly used Duet AI in workspace apps, are presently supported by this paradigm. Google is spending a lot of money creating Gemini AI as a superior replacement in an effort to outperform ChatGPT4. Gemini AI's goal is not just to duplicate GPT-4 and other existing models. The goal is to give higher capabilities rather than identical performance. Gemini AI will presumably take advantage of developments in reinforcement learning to overcome problems with existing language models. With the introduction of Gemini AI, Google is prepared to demonstrate its actual powers as the generative AI market becomes more competitive. Google is aiming to achieve a secure market entry after learning important lessons from the hasty debut of BARD. The market for generative AI is expected to grow to $109.37 billion by 2030, fueling fierce competition for market supremacy. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye! Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.